Siema Spodek! Guys, this was, I really genuinely was planning for this to be short, but it might not be. I apologize, because I think there are a few important things to say. Speaking of important things, I was asked this week in an interview question, what was my most important moment in the Intel Extreme Masters? For me, the answer is easy. It's the 2011 semi-final in Counter-Strike, back in when the finals were in Germany. Two teams played an extremely, extremely tough game. They went to hell and back to try to come out victorious at the end. And when one team won and the other team lost, the superstar on the losing team fell to his knees, put his face in the ground, couldn't believe it. The players on the winning team started crying, couldn't believe it, picked up their phones, started calling their loved ones, talk, talk to them about what happened. And it wasn't the money. There wasn't so much money back then. It was just the semi-final. It wasn't the fame. It was not as many people as, as watch Counter-Strike today. It wasn't even on stage. The reason the players felt that way is because of that feeling inside a competitor. When you find your boundaries, and in order to be better than somebody else, you have to cross to the other side and find the better version of you. And this is a feeling that is probably the best feeling in the world. Because this is a feeling that nobody can give you. You have to fight for it. You have to earn it. You have to be stubborn. You have to persevere. You have to put your life towards achieving that goal. And you have to make sacrifices. This is why some people, for that feeling, dedicate their entire life to feel that feeling over and over and over again. Because this is what champions do. Well, this week, or at this event, Two Intel Extreme Masters champions suffered a personal tragedy. One player lost his father. One player lost his mother. But they chose to be here. Because in order to be the best, they had to be here this week. Not next week, not the week after that. They have to be here this week in order to be the best. They chose to stay because together with other people, they were chasing the same dream. And they chose not to fail those people. Now, I don't know, I have no idea what it takes to do what they did. I can't possibly imagine. But I wanted to take this opportunity while I'm here on stage to honor their sacrifice. Because what they did is what champions do. Now, all the players here, they committed their entire lives to be here this week and be the best version of themselves this week. When you watch them, when you watch them compete, please remember, please think of all the possible sacrifices that they made in order to be here. I wish all of you that this major is the best major of all time, the most entertaining week that you've ever had in your lives. And that when you go home, please remember to tell your father and tell your mother that you love them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. It's an emotional stage right now. I'm with Dupree, who I can see has got tears in his eyes. Emotionally for you right now, you must be going through absolutely everything. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very unreal. Um, I came into this tournament with my father. Uh, yeah, he passed away just before I got here, and his last wish was that I, 
I went here, and so I really want to dedicate this, this win to my father. Mate, come on. It is a fitting stage here, what you have just achieved. Back-to-back -back champions, you and Astralis. And it was a normal day. I went to school, I had just some late night CS. And then in the evening, my mom came into my room and I was like, okay, don't bother me, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm busy now and I'm just having some fun. But she said it's serious and she just sat me down to have a talk. And she let me know that um, my dad committed suicide. So this is the house my first years of life began. I lived here up until I was like seven years old. So I haven't actually been here since the time I moved out. My dad did this business for almost 20 years and it eventually just started to um, go downwards. I think at one point we had some problems with like bankruptcy. The bank had to take this house. If I could just go back in time and, you know, tell, tell my dad that I could earn so much money playing CS and you know, just wait, like, things will work out. Congratulations, Skadoodle. At your first major playoffs, you had to take down G2, SK, and today, you took down FaZe. Today, you have made history. You are the E-League Major Champion. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't really have much words to say, as you know. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying, stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say. I, I can't really say too much. I'm just super proud of the boys. and. Uh, as a first major playoff, you know, appearance, it's um, <coughs> it's amazing. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Skadoodle, you played of your mind coming into the playoffs there were some doubters they thought maybe you wouldn't be able to perform but you proved them wrong skadaddy showed up what do you have to say to all the haters <laughs> uh you know i came out to play you know i don't really uh it was the finals and uh, no regrets you know I'm, I'm out there i'm out there last but not least there are so many Cloud9 fans here in the Aganis Arena, so many Cloud9 fans all over the world. What do you have to say to them? Uh, first, I want to give a shout out to, um, you know, my friends personally who came out to support me. Uh, Tarek's funny me came out as well. Um, our CEO came to see us win, which is really, really nice. Um, and uh, thank you for all the fans who uh, showed up. Congratulations, Skadoodle. Once again, your E-League Major Champion is Cloud9!